there. Rebecca Shinsky, I'm the director of content for Book Riot. It's been another huge week for book mail, so let's dive in for the new books preview. Oh, what a pretty cover. Before We Visit the Goddess by Chitra Banerjee Devaka Rooney. I have heard wonderful things about her work and have never read it. This comes out April 19th, so you've got a while to put it on your wish list. It says, the daughter of a poor sweet maker in rural Bengal, India, Sabitri yearns to get an education. However, her family situation makes college an impossible dream. Then an influential woman from Kolkata takes Sabitri under her wing, but her generosity curdles after a single unforgivable misstep. All right, gorgeous cover. Can't wait to read this and finally get to read some of Divaka Rooney's work. Oh yes, we're off to another really good start here. How to Be a Tutor, A Dawn to Dusk Guide to Tutor Life by Ruth Goodman. You might remember that Goodman had How to Be a Victorian, which was out a few years ago. How to Be a Tutor comes out February 15th and it says, delighting in the weird and wonderful details of tutor life and the echoes that have found their way into modern thinking. The belief, for instance, that redheads have hot tempers, never, and the order in which we eat our meals, Goodman takes readers through the course of one typical day for the common family. So history buffs, this one is for you. Yeah, the chapters start at the Cox Crow. They go to, uh, to wash or not to wash, which I guess is probably about whether you take a bath in the morning, dressing, breakfast, education, dinner, men's work, women's work, a time to play, supper, and so to bed. So if you have wondered what a day in the life of a typical tutor person was, how to be a tutor, February 15th. Ooh, okay. Um, Ways to Disappear, a novel by Idra Novi. This comes out February 9th, so it's out now while you're watching this. This is one of the spring 2016 Discover Great New Writer picks from Barnes & Noble. Deep in gambling debt, the celebrated Brazilian novelist Beatriz Yagoda is last seen in Copacabana holding a suitcase and a cigar and climbing into an almond tree. She abruptly vanishes, seemingly without a trace. In snowy Pittsburgh, her devoted American translator hears the news and against all common sense, flies immediately to Brazil. And then she's going to try to figure out what happened to Yagoda's curious disappearance. It's a really striking cover. Very cool to hear about authors that are winning that Barnes & Noble Discover Award. That's a really good place to find out about authors and books that you might not have heard of or that are new on the scene. I'm gonna be checking that one out. Let's see, we've got the Miracle on Monhegan Island, a novel by Elizabeth Kelly. This is out in May, it looks like a great summer read. When Spark, the rakish prodigal son, returns unannounced to the dilapidated family home on Maine's Monhegan Island, his arrival launches one unforgettable summer. During his absence, his gentle brother and shrewd fork-tongued father, Pastor Ragnar, have been caring for Spark's son, Hallie. A temperamental adolescent emboldened by tales of his father's mischief, Hallie is careening through an identity crisis when he stuns his family by claiming to have had a spiritual vision. So you've got family drama, you've got a summer story, you've got a kid who's having spiritual visions. What more could you want? I'm Glad About You by Teresa Rebeck. It's a really cool cover. We're in a good roll of awesome book art today. Let's see. Uh, one of Kirkus Review's most anticipated books of 2016 comes out February 23rd. Allison and Kyle's meeting in a parking lot outside a high school football game was both completely forgettable and utterly life-changing. Because no matter how you look at it, it is piss poor luck to meet the love of your life before your life has even started. They both have big dreams. What could these mismatched souls have to do with each other? So um, young love, high school sweethearts, and then all the complications that follow. There's a quote from Francine Prose on the front. It says, Rebeck's smart, funny, deeply sympathetic, and astringently observant novel gets everything right. I've not read her before. Gonna have to do that. All right, that wraps up this week's new book preview. I'll be back next week with more. In the meantime, you know where to find the comments section for all of your thoughts and questions. And don't forget to click on subscribe to stay up to date with all Book Riot's bookish goodness. I'll see you next time.